Hello and welcome back to Bonex. In this video, we are going to be talking about a very simple strategy that can give you the potential of trading Bitcoin like a professional. But before we jump into the whole video, you may as well check out our free Telegram channel. The link is right in the description box below. Without wasting much of your time, the strategy will require you to trade double tops or double bottoms off the highs and lows of days. So there are criteria that we use to catch the high and low of day. So the first thing that we need to see is the previous day's high or low. In this case, these demarcations, these traces actually marks a period equivalent to a day. And mind you, this is on the M15 time frame. So the indicators that are on my chart are the 50 EMA exponential moving average applied to close, the 13 exponential moving average applied to close as well, and the 200 EMA. Those are the ones that are important. So the first thing is to see the high or low of the previous day. In this case, we can see that we had this as the high right of this particular day starting here and ending here and we had this as the low so from these high and low that is where we we'll start our count to see where the perceived high of the following day is going to be mind you this is on bitcoin against us dollar and you can as well apply it on btc usdt or any other stable stable coin so in this case, we can see that uh, from this point, we did not have any move breaking these high and lows. So the first thing, whenever we find the high or low of the previous day is to see a 1350 EMA crossover like this one. And we would then require a price bounce on the 50 EMA and then a price bounce on the 13 EMA to consider uh, a, a flow to the high of day or low of day. So in this case, we can see that uh, from this point, we did not have a flow of the market. Therefore, there was no tradable high or low. Then on this particular day, we had this low, right? So from this low, we had a 50, 13 EMA crossover here. Then after that 50, 13 EMA crossover, we had this first bounce on the, on the 50 EMA and then the second bounce on the 13 EMA, right? So meaning that we have, we had wave one, wave two, and then this was the last wave. So on the last wave, that is where we start to look for a double top or a double bottom. We can see that the first leg was at this point and then the second leg was at this point. Our entry will be candle closure below the 13 EMA like this and our exit will be at the 200 EMA. Therefore, our trade was going to move from this point to there, right? Then going forward, we can see that now this was the high of this day. And from that high of that particular day, we now need to count again like this one. We've said the first criteria that has to be met is a 50, 13 EMA crossover, right? Then after that, we need to see a bounce of the market on the, a bounce of the market on the 50 EMA, and then a proper bounce of the market on the 13 EMA. Therefore, we had one, bounce on the 50 EMA, we had to see another bounce on the 13. Unfortunately, the market went slide down and although it gave us a double bottom and uh, it, the trade worked out, it did not meet our criteria. Therefore, it was a scratch. Then from that, we can see that uh, on this particular day, this was the high of this day. And from that high, we had... Uh, a 50 13 EMA crossover right after that 50 13 EMA crossover we had 
price bounce on the on the 50 EMA then it, this was also on the 50 EMA we need on the 13 meaning that this was now a scratch therefore we had 50, uh, 13 50 EMA crossover bounce on the 50 bounce on the on the 13 EMA and then a setup was issued candle closure above the 13 EMA up to the 200 EMA that is where our target will be so from that we can see that this was now the high and this was now the low and from the low we can start again the same thing whereby we had a crossover after that crossover we had market bouncing on the 50 unfortunately it actually bounced for several on several points flow then uh, what is important is to see the last bounce on the 13 EMA so that you know that we are in the last wave rise so this was the last bounce on the 13 EMA and the market went up from there we had this uh, double top a small M and candle closure below the 13 EMA which is this one was going to give us our entry and our exit will be on the 200 EMA and right now uh, after that we can see that uh, we had um, this is our high of this particular day from that high can we see a 50 13 EMA crossover yes after that 50 13 EMA crossover we can see the market actually coming back to the 50 EMA and it went down after that 50 EMA the most important is to see a 13 EMA retest then after that we need a double bottom in this case we had the first leg the second leg and candle closure above above the 13 like uh, that was going to give us an entry point and uh, from there we can see the market actually coming to the target point so basically that is what you will be doing in summary what you'll be doing is look for a for the high or low of the previous day then after that high or low of the previous day has been established look for a 13 EMA and 50 EMA crossover after that crossover look for the market uh, retest on the 50 EMA and then after market retest on the 50 EMA look for the market retest on the 13 EMA which is one of the most important point the last retest on the 50 EMA after this one actually the last retest of the 50 EMA after this one is the most important retest and from there that is where you start to look for double bottoms or double tops then your entry will be above candlestick closure above the 13 EMA and exit will be on the 200 EMA a flow of the 200 EMA you should be uh, more patient for you to see the market actually reach your target and you should also be selective whenever you are taking your trades that is the M's and the W's must be well defined and uh, with that if you keep on doing so and so uh, the same thing over and over again you'd see that consistency will actually grab up with you within trading this particular asset bitcoin against us something that is volatile but if you trade it this way i've been trying this strategy and i've seen that you can be consistent so we've come to the end of our video thank you for watching like and subscribe and share with someone have a blessed day